Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this nice system of equation to find the value of A and B here. Let this be equation 1 and this be equation 2. From equation 1, we have root A plus root B equals to 5. Let's take the square on both sides. Then we have everything on this side square. Also this side square. Then when we expand this, this gives us root A square plus root B square then plus 2 times root A times root B then equals to 5 square here, 5 times 5 that is 25. And next, we have square cancel square roots here. We are left with a, then plus yes square cancel square root that's plus b, then plus two root. Here we have a b. We can bring it together, which is equal to twenty five. Then next we can substitute root a b from equation two, and that is same thing as five, such that here we have a plus b plus 2 times 5 now equals to 25 now here we have a plus b then plus 10 equals to 25 then when we subtract 10 from both sides as we take 10 to that side we have a plus b now equals to 25 minus 10 there give us 15 and look at this one as equation 3 from here then also from equation 2 what we have there we have root a b equals to 5 also from here let's square both sides then we square this side also we square this side then the square cancel square root here we have a b it now equals to 5 square, that's 5 times 5, which is 25. Then from here, let's divide both sides by B to make A the subject or the formula. Then B cancel out here, then we have A equals to 25 over B. And from here, label this as equation 4. Then let's substitute equation 4 back in equation 3 that is what we have in equation 3 now which is a plus b equals to 15 we now become when a is 25 over b so this will give us 25 over b now then plus b equals to 15 from here then CM here is B. Now let's multiply through by B here. Then here B will cancel out and we have 25. Then plus here B times B, that's B square. Then equals to here we have 15B. Now let's rearrange this to form a quadratic equation and take 15B here. Then we have B square minus 15B. Then plus 25. Now equals to zero from here now when we solve this from here using the quadratic formula b equals to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a and here a is given as 1 coefficient of b square then b is minus 16 then c is 25 then this becomes b now equals to minus minus 15 plus or minus square root of minus 15 square then minus 4 times 1 times 25 then divided by 2 times 1 then here this becomes b equals to 15 plus or minus square root of minus 16 square is 625 
then minus 4 times 1 times 25 that's 100 then over 2 from here then what we have then become b equals to 15 plus or minus square root of here we have 125 then over 2 and we can separate 125 here as 25 times 5 that is root 125 can be written as root 25 times 5 and also this is root 25 times root 5 which is now 5 root 5 that is here this becomes b equals to 15 plus or minus 5 root 5 then over 2 on this side that is here we can separate this and this will be b equals to 15 over 2 plus or minus 5 root 5 over 2 and from here we have two possible answers for b here first we have b equals to 15 over 2 plus 5 root 5 over 2 and also we have b equals to 15 over 2 minus 5 root 5 over 2 and also here we can get the corresponding value of a from the relation which we have a plus b equals to 15 then we can make a the subject here that is a will now be equals to 15 minus b so when we use this here let's say this side we have b1 and this side we have b2 then a1 here will then be equals to 15 minus b1 which is 15 over 2 plus 5 root 5 over 2 then from here a1 will then be equals to 15 minus 15 over 2 then minus and plus here become minus 5 root 5 over 2 then from here this together and we have SEN as 2 then 1 into 2 2 times 15 that's 30 minus here 2 into 1 1 times 15 that's 15 then minus 5 root 5 over 2 and here 30 minus 15 that's 15 over 2 then minus 5 root 5 over 2 then we have a1 to be equal to this from here then it implies the first solution a1 comma b1 here we then give us a1 we have 15 over 2 minus 5 root 5 over 2 then comma b1 we have from here 15 over 2 plus we have 5 root 5 over 2 from there so here it gives us 15 over 2 then plus 5 root 5 over 2 then also from this B2 here we can check and get the A2 from here also using A equals to 15 minus B then A2 we then equals to 15 minus B2 which is now 15 over 2 then minus 5 root 5 over 2 then here it implies A2 now equals to 15 minus 15 over 2 then minus and minus there as plus 5 root 5 over 2 then here this gives us A2 to be equals to here when we bring it together we see have 15 over 2 then plus 5 root 5 over 2 so which means that the second set of solution here which is a2 comma b2 now we then be given as a2 we have 15 over 2 plus 5 root 5 over 2 then b2 here we have 15 over 2 
minus 5 root 5 over 2. And here we have these two sets of solutions from here. And when we look at it, A1 here is similar to B2 here, and B1 similar to A2. So that is what we have here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget these steps. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. See you next class and bye for now.